And so the 2022 update for NASCAR 21 Ignition's just come out. The worst NASCAR game arguably ever made technically gets a second chance at life. As you very well know, I gave you the day negative one experience last year. And since recording that, I've maybe turned this game on two to three times. It's still nearly impossible to either finish a race simply because the game breaks on you, but then there's the human element. The game's just so downright boring from being quarter-baked that it doesn't give you any reason to keep playing it. But I do want you to know I've not looked at a single piece of footage coming into this. This is totally raw reactions. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Expectations are low, which is the opposite of last year where I had relatively high expectations. And that's because I was one of the many people who put down about $96 on the game. And uh, I've spent about the last year regretting most life choices. And that'll probably go until about the day I die. But at least Motorsports Games did have the dignity this year to not even make a game. Nintendo Switch doesn't count. And give us the time to recuperate from our losses. Seriously, with that whole NASCAR Rivals thing, they are just barely scraping by on that contract that says they have to release a game every year. NASCAR 23 Reignited is going to be on the App Store. So help me God. Trust me, I'm almost done yammering. But we got one more thing left to do before we actually turn the game on. We got to see patch notes. All right, so the update includes, obviously, 2022 stuff. That makes sense. The update includes all three models of next-gen cars. Playable on every NASCAR track, implying that versions of the update did not allow you to run a Toyota at Sonoma. Front-end stability improvements. I think that's called chassis adjustment. This is critical right here. Remember, this game had one year of development before it was released. Now it's had another year of development before this update. They're still addressing simple crashes and hang-ups in races. Options, menu, volume, slider, inconsistencies. How do you even generate that issue? Well, they also fix an issue where the car engine audio can go silent. Improved qualification session player's starting position. Is that even English? Oh yeah, and finally, fixed road collision gaps on certain tracks. Nothing like taking two years to address collision detection. And by the way, as you can tell, I gave this a very favorable review. Make sure your expectations are buried right in the bedrock. By the way, I just realized I don't have any of my audio settings configured. So this is probably going to be a rocky start. Enough screwing around, let's do it. Okay, so I can't change the resolution, so I'm just going to do it like this in OBS for, for right now, and then I'm just going to fix it later. The game ain't even going to let me do that. Okay, so this is a very weird way to get our first experience of the next-gen car in this game. I'll be honest with you, the, the model of the car really doesn't look that good at all. FCRD actually did, a, I think, a much better job with NR2003. So it looks like they have the uh, full... Ro oh my god, Greg Biffle. Greg Biffle is in this game now. I'm actually impressed. I thought they'd just get the chartered teams. They actually got everybody, for the most part. You know, there's a couple things missing, but... I mean, the money team's in it. And even to have different paint schemes, honestly, that's more than I expected. Well, I never expected to be able to play as Greg Biffle ever again in the NASCAR game, so you know who I'm going with. And you know what? Last year, I went to Talladega. So for the most honest comparison of how the game has evolved in 346 days of time is to go to the same track. NASCAR 21 Ignition is not a game deserving of professionals. So we're just going to go with visual damage. Let's see. Can I actually set up the car now? Oh, uh, of course not. Okay, so no improvement there. Let's just get on the track. Doug's still with me, at least. What, what are we doing? That, that's how I'm thrown in. I am thrown into practice on the back straightaway halfway in the middle of a wreck. And I still need to fix the display settings. Okay, turns out the only way to actually get this game to both display correctly and be recorded is to have it in windowed mode. They didn't say that in the patch notes. Okay, so first of all, observations. Does the game feel any different than it did last year? Absolutely not. By the way, the biggest difference from the video I did last year is I'm playing this actually with a controller instead of on the steering wheel because this game is not designed hardly to even function, let alone be realistic. I can at least drift. And look, bottom right, tires and fuel. It took two years to develop that. That is a thought that has never even been had. I need a way to figure out how much my tires are worn. I need a way to figure out how much fuel I've burnt. You see, the, the devs of NASCAR 21 Ignition Motorsports Games, what they want you to do, this is what they never explained, is they want you to take the game, they wanted you to do a race at every single track, calculate your fuel load on paper, work out all the math yourself, and then, like a true crew chief, go to battle on the racetrack every Sunday. Here we go. Grass racing, the insane snappiness, 
that was in this game last year is no longer in the game this year. The only thing is, can even spin out. I'm whipping the car every which way, and I, ca I cannot, I can't spin. Man, motorsports games just like NASCAR. One extreme or the other. There we go, I finally spun. Last year, if a housefly looked at you wrong, your car would spin out. This year it takes an act of Congress. But you know what, since they've mastered the two extremes, all they have to do is they have to go right down the middle. Oh, do you hear that audio stuff going on there? <laughs> Alright, so I am sensing that this game is a little bit improved, maybe, and that's just because the car isn't quite as snappy as it was last year, which kind of made it unplayable. But that still don't mean it's good, or even really tracking towards good. Only one way to find out, though. Let's get into the race. Oh, well, that wasn't a good start. Neither is this. Wait a minute. Oh, I was I was hoping it was going to keep lagging. He said I could have said that, and the next-gen cars in this game put the game over the edge when it comes to instability. All right, let's get some bump drafts. It ain't working. Okay. If I just try to hook up, maybe, with somebody, it could possibly work. I know it worked last year in the game. Oh, by the way, make note of less... Well, I, I changed my mind now. I was going to say less aggressive camera shake. It's just as bad. It's just as bad. We're still going into warp drive. Whoa, checkups. Checkups out of nowhere. Oh, I forgot. I actually shut my spotter off the last time I played the game because I just had to tell Freddy Kraft to shut his mouth. Yep, a ramp. Oh, there it is. There, there it finally is. First wreck. Oh, we're not going to get a caution either. Well, it's a good time to kick back. Will that deliver us a yellow? It'll deliver us lag. Nothing more. This game did not lag last year. This is a new addition. I am proud, at the very least, of them adding in Worldwide Technology Raceway. I half didn't expect them to. Alright, let's see if we can survive. <laughs> Went into this with no practice. Oh, you gotta admit, that was a sick 360. Yeah, this thing just, it drives like a lead sled. Got one left. Low. <laughs> Almost made it pass. One left. One left. Almost. And because I just hit the rear bumper, I probably have a severe concussion right now. Oh, by the way, the back straightaway gateway doesn't have this anymore. It's now just a straight wall, so not like you would have seen it or anything if you're, you know, allegedly going to all these racetracks and taking photos and doing like LiDAR scans and all that stuff. You would have never saw that. This thing just feels horrible. I mean, it's both jittery and too stiff at the same time in the way it handles. Oh, God. That's the time I felt like I was going to wreck the most, and yet it was actually my best corner entry. Oh, look, they actually tell you when the stages end now. Improvements. Shouldn't have taken multiple years, but improvements. Look, I've passed somebody. It might have been Hesemans. And this is J.J. Ailey, but I've passed somebody. I mean, you can take that away from me. Like, immediately, but I've done it at least once. Oh, God. This is real, like, NY Racing Simulator right here. Battle for last? Well, I am pitting. And that probably means the game's gonna crash. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. We just got one person standing on pit road there for a second. Oh, here we go with the hammer. At least it's not the concrete saw this year. Oh! I don't know what's going on at any point. Can we survive turn one? I'm not. See, the problem is, it's like, how do you race the AIs when they are, like, solid bricks? 
And I'm pretty sure if I were to touch him, I'd just wreck. Yep. That's what just happened. Mm, NASCAR heat physics into a Tokyo Drift. I am telling you, though, this 2019 version of Gateway looks pretty good for 2019. Too bad that was a couple years ago. JJ Ailey, you're going to block me down to the wall, really? I mean, I can see Gragson doing it. Yeah, that ain't working. Oh, my. Eric. I'm kind of up here, and I just downshifted, doing myself a lot of favors. This car is just not responding. I know it looks like I'm driving horribly, and I guess I can adapt to some sort of crap factor that this game has to offer, but again, why would you ever want to be considered a pro at NASCAR 21 Ignition? Oh, oh, oh. Got him. How low do you go? Do you go onto the grass? Because I'm about to be put down in there. Okay, I'll say this. The way the game was last year, I would not have been able to save that. I can almost stomach playing this. Not yet. It's still it's still pretty horrible, but if I spent enough time and really, really hated myself that day, I could try to play this. Oh, was that was that Yaley? Yeah, let's just let's just do five wide to one. Whatever. Starring Greg Biffle. There we go. And that does not get a caution, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I need the whole racetrack to make corners. Ah, that, that was... That almost looked like I knew what I was doing. That didn't. That was the noise the curb made. Okay, I am taking the off ramp. <laughs> We're still not getting a caution. Bump and runs work about as good in this game as they do on the real next gen car. Guess you can call that realism. Probably discovered by mistake, but that was incredible. Yep, yep. Yep. Not pitting. <laughs> yeah, the car just lost its willingness to live right there. Got to video game it. Certified strategy. I don't know where any of us are going. And as you can tell by the interval statistics, it was actually a 40-car tie. So I would say that I did not finish last. Everyone in the field won. So because I didn't qualify, it just gave me the random starting position of 14th. Ha! There we go. That was productive. Got someone. Oh, we're doing the wheelie right there. I want to do this. You gotta love under braking. The car jerks to the right. Oh, you did not put the fuel in where the fuel actually goes. Look where I get to restart. Last but in front of the leader. There we go. They are tanks. Let's try this again. So, okay, I'm gonna really try on this attempt. Or the car's just gonna take completely off. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's almost like NR two thousand three in the sense of when you touch an AI car, you, your car just totally takes off. Can I actually survive this? No, no, I can't because when you touch the brakes, the car turns right. Yep. Yep. Hang on. Right. Yeah. Up. Oh. Yeah. I changed my mind. This game's still pretty much unplayable. It's more playable. Still un playable. I mean, there's a there's like different layers of garbage. You know, landfills come in different sizes. This one's just a little bit smaller. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, nobody died. I'll tell you, the racing's nail-biting. 
it's just for all the wrong reasons. This is some edge of your seat crap to keep the car going forward. I mean, Ty Dillon ain't even succeeding at that. I'm beginning to think I'm becoming like Kyle Busch. I think the more I yell and complain at the game while driving, I think I'm starting to do better. But as you very well know, hate can move mountains. And I just cleaned out Blaney. If I can survive one and two here, I might actually have a good chance at something. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, did not, didn't, well, hmm. didn't. Oh my god. Well, that did not work. If only you could touch another car without just going right into the spin cycle. Oh, I forgot there's a fifth gear. The common theme of this race is drifts. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Car just never responded. Never responded to the right turns. All right, I'm going places on this bottom. Not if Harrison Burton has anything to say about it. Hey, I finished 31st. Definitely not last. I'm going to try this one more time. See what I mean by, like, when you ram someone, you're the one who's wrecking, not the one who you rammed? Fun fact, this version of Worldwide Technology Raceway is less realistic than the one I'm going to be releasing on Halloween. And I'm going to wipe out this whole field. Shut up now. Oh, my God, I'm in the top ten. Cody Ware is in the top ten. <laughs> BJ McLeod is in the top 10. Oh, there we go. That was slick. Oh, the audio just cut out for some reason. And everyone is wrecking. This is mostly just like I have no control over where the car is going. Jesus took the wheel. There we go. That was another example of that. And Back somebody down. wrecked. I'm starting on the front row. Still next to you. Clear, clear. Stay left. Take Ross's line away, and I am leading a race. Close. Yellow, yellow, yellow. How many times are they going to wreck? Oh, my God. How many times are they going to wreck now? And I think I destroyed Haley under caution. Taking them three. Guess you could say I'm a quick learner. It only took me three right. Everybody pitted. What even? Am I a lap down? Did, did somebody lap the field? I think I've scored second. I don't know what's going on anymore. Either way, I was the first one to the flag. Where did I finish? I can't even win when I won. Screw it. I'm doing this again. I will not rest until I win. Ross Chastain has done so many people wrong. But the one man he should not have put on that list was me. Okay, yeah. yeah still having the problem with the car taking off. Got one right. Three wide, two outside. Thought I was about to take Hamlin out. And I now got the whole pack formed up behind me. BJ McLeod really abusing that Motorsports Games partnership. Imagine if you didn't know what NASCAR was and you just played this game by some unfortunate chance. You, you think B.J. McLeod was like one of the one top right. performers. There we go. Yellow, yellow, yellow. All right, nothing too Rewind. crazy in the one. I said nothing too oh, crazy. Yeah. I still went crazy. I am sick of this 11 car. Two piece. BJ McLeod was upset about it. Okay. Did not work. 
Once again, going to try to pass Dennis. And I think I've finally done it. I mean, it just does not want to stop. Chastain and Harvick. So we meet again. I had to do that. Wow. That was like a double or triple crossover. Whatever just happened. But it, but it gave me the lead. No, I can't see him. Guess why? Don't have a rear view mirror. I just saw Chastain on pit road, so my takeout move actually worked. Yeah, these cars are just not fun to drive. Granted, it doesn't look like the next-gen cars are fun to drive in reality either, but this game is just not a fun experience. Better than last year. If you're looking for raw improvement, if you want to see numbers on a graph get higher, well, that's what this game has to offer. There is people pitting. I am getting flashbacks right now to the Robbie Gordon series. All right, it took me less time than I expected to adapt to this garbage. Because I'm about to win by about 15 seconds. And we're going to put Greg Biffle into victory lane for the first time in nine years, but at Worldwide Technology Raceway. Superman music. But Ross, you got what you deserved. 27th place. Oh, that is not good looking. That is not a good looking vibration camera. That's even worse. I'll listen to the sound. All right, the game appears to be losing its mind with the icons, and it's also shaking. If I move the mouse around, it does this. Look, that's a feature I didn't know about. I can shake the camera and reality itself with a mouse. All right, a crap reconfiguration for a crap update. Let's do it. All right, so we created massive death at this track in the previous version of the game. And that was before it became a super speedway. So now it's going to be even worse. Can we tandem? The answer is no, because everyone's just getting out of my way. Well, I bet I, I bet I can pass all the way down here. I bet. I sure can completely screw track limits away with me a lot of people trying to set up a pass on me couldn't turn look the field just slows down for me like they were going my exact pace that I was making backwards if you can't tell I'm not qualifying I just set starting position to random I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a slingshot down here Oh, the dirt ain't quite so good. Oh! NASCAR Heat 5 physics. I'm surprised they actually gave me a caution. I wanted to just stop there and see if the field would come back around and destroy me. Whoa! Well, I caught him. I sent Bubba straight into the spin cycle. And we got no caution. You know, I just realized I'm a lap down. And I am flying. And I'm going where they're not. That's Chastain again. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. Yeah, big checkups off too. Random checkups on straightaways. No problem. We got him with abundance. If you can't tell this game is more boring than it is bad now, which in a way is worse. Because that means it has no shock factor anymore. As bad as this game was to start, that was the only thing that made it even noteworthy. Now it's just downright boring and still kind of awful, but not outstandingly awful. I really like how we got rid of track limits, though. I will say that. That's, uh, that's a move I support. 
You ever seen somebody hit the inside wall at Atlanta and keep going? There we go, finally. So I want to point out, we went that whole stage, almost nobody even passed. So now I actually get a chance at uh, doing something with my race. There it is. That's why I wanted to be on the bottom. I'm not the only one going beneath the line. You saw that. Oh, that was epic. Grabbed a gear, got the thing back going. Here we go. And there it is. We are not going to hit pit road in a few laps. There's four laps left. What are we even talking about? All right, lap traffic. And they are at least in a nice and tidy formation. I mean, aren't these the nicest lap cars you've ever seen? Look at this. They don't even give a crap that they're being lapped. Well, that was just outright boring. Just completely. The AIs just stayed single file in parade formation. Greg Biffle in victory lane circa 2022. It's true perfection. And they didn't even try to model his face. At least not for this. We're going dirt tracking. Oh. It looks more like rally racing. BJ McLeod outside front row for no apparent reason. I'm just, I'm just taking people. Yep, just wrecked myself. Oop, oh, oop. Oh. I turned my own wreck into wrecking somebody else. All right, breakthrough. The top's where you want to be, and they are wrecking. And I am not going to get off this top side. It's really weird to see these cars bouncing left to right like that. That is so awkward looking, and I just just cleaned out the 47. Well, oh, that was a... Well, Ross, you just wrecked yourself. Good job. Oh. Yeah, the car is just not handling. And of course, Chastain wins. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and prove how good this top side is. Meanwhile, the AIs are gonna just, yep. The AIs are just gonna keep jumping them turtles, dirtles rather. Yeah, I don't know what kind of entry angle that is. I, I tried to see where the AIs were going and uh, it just does not work. There it is. That's how you win a stage. I'll do it as many times as you want, Ross. If only I could choose which line I want to restart in, I'd take the top. Where did Stenhouse come from? It's just like NASCAR Thunder 2004 in that regard. When you get stuck on someone's quarter panel like that, you are dead. What are we doing? I have no control over this. I'm not controlling the car. At least I'm in the line I want. Probably out of time. All right. Well, that suddenly turned into an almost compelling race. <laughs> well, they're just pitting. What even? What even? All right, so that's what Bristol Dirt Victory Lane looks like. There, I think, is the most animated Doug has ever been.
Well, let's see how bad short tracks are. I mean, they Welcome suck horribly the with the next gen car. Why can't they suck in the game? Got one left. Yep. Oh, well, that went really nicely. What are we even doing? What are we doing? What am I doing in particular? Yeah, I'll be honest with you, this feels nearly undrivable. Also, why, why why, is Martinsville in a dense layer of kryptonite fog? Do you notice that? Like some serious pollution. I'm going to try the outside line. Totally unorthodox, but... I bet you've never seen somebody get right reared like that at Martinsville. <laughs> I got Justin again. Seven cards has got... Totally walled by a wobbling busher. Yeah, you got a car up your outside, busher. There you go. The the freaking curb. You know what? I need to know what happens when you wall ride. It's a viable method. It's confirmable. If you don't have damage on, this is actually something that will work. I don't know how Suarez and Bowman put one lap above the entire field, but I was like three or four laps down. So whatever the short tracks suck in this game too. All right, there's something I have to test at Sonoma, and I think you very well know what it is. Oh, what are these audio glitches? There it is. It works. I don't know why, but we're just qualified. Oh, you don't know why. Oh, come on, I wanted the replay. So you're telling me you have to actually finish a race to get the replay? Yeah, sure, fine, whatever. Dumping that race length all the way down to 2%. Got one left. Clear, clear, clear. Wasn't the flip I wanted. No shortcut. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. This this is a game that was released. Not just released once, but now released a second time. It is not any better. For a whole year of development to go into this and get absolutely nothing out of it except for just an almost playable horrible experience instead of just an unplayable horrible experience is just beyond inexcusable. It's it's totally incompetent. I can't even wreck the way I want. That's how little control you have. Just there's such a great disconnect between your inputs and what actually happens and it just, it hardly even feels like you're playing the game. It almost feels like it's just playing itself. Oh, now we got ourselves a log jam. There we go. Jesus. At least I got a twofer. My God, that was not worth the amount of time I put into it. Just trying to flip in this game should not be like trying to articulate a New Horizons mission to Pluto. It was Michael McDowell winning. Josh Blicky third. I think we have a problem. The game is completely blank. I'm totally sick of this anyway, it's just an excuse to shut it off. Oh god, I shut it off and the music's still playing.
The game's actually off. Oh, thank God. One last thing I want to try. If a game sucks so bad you can't play it by yourself, might as well try multiplayer. Something tells me this isn't going to work. Okay, so it looks like that doesn't work either. Then again, who would ever even bother to try to play this game? It sucks so bad that you can tell no one is online. So yeah, we're out of luck with trying it with other people, and I guess that does it. I am totally sick of this game, and I hope to never have to even see it again. Do not buy this game. I thought after 346 days, maybe it would get to the point of at least being playable. Maybe not good, but playable. It hadn't gotten there yet and I don't think they're gonna work on it for another year. It's taken them two years to make a product that don't work, and I don't think waiting any longer is gonna make it any fresher. This update is as underwhelming as I think we all expected. However, I actually am kind of excited for the NASCAR Heat 5 update coming uh, October 21st. And if you watch my Heat 5 playthrough, I kinda tear into the game a lot, but that's because that was back in 2020. I had no idea this was gonna ever be a thing. This one absolutely takes the cake for not just worst NASCAR game, but one of the worst games I've probably ever played. And for it to go two years of semi-consistent updates and essentially get a repackaging and re-release for it to be no better at all is just despicable. You know, you could say that they just polished a turd, but they really didn't polish it any. Nothing's different, it's just another one. But you know what, since they want to update NASCAR Heat 5, how about we update NASCAR 15? They own the copyright to the game and all the code that goes to it. If you put that game in 4K, it would actually be pretty good. NASCAR Heat 5, though, will be better than this garbage. All I know is that I hope to God that Motorsports Games does not make it through the next fiscal year. Just to avoid NASCAR 21 Edition and hopefully the rest of Motorsports Games products. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay tuned for the content that's coming up. Take care, and do not get NASCAR 21 Edition. <laughs> Save your money. Got one left. Clear, clear, clear. Got one right. Clear, clear. Stay left. All clear.